Badr al Madi is a political sociology professor at the German Jordanian University, and he's joining me now live from Amman in Jordan. Uh, professor, good to have you here with us on TRT World. Let me begin by asking you this is perhaps the first time we are seeing uh, Jordan recall its ambassador from Israel, but certainly this is not the first time Israel has attacked Gaza. What is what do what do you think this tells us? Uh, first of all, yes, we had uh, such a procedure a uh, long time ago uh, with the Israeli government, but this time actually, uh, absolutely, Jordan was waiting uh, to see some uh, a procedure uh, from the uh, from the Israeli government to stop uh, their criminal attack against Gaza. But after 27 days, absolutely, Jordan, right now, uh, they concluded that the Israeli government does not want to stop. And this is absolutely, it is delegitimizing our political position here in our country and is not giving us a good shape uh, as a government, as a state. So this is why Jordan government took the step yesterday, uh, sending three almost messages, one internal message for the Jordanian people, for the public here who are demonstrating every day uh, next to Israeli embassy here in Amman. And the other message it is to the Israeli government telling them that we can't actually deal with uh, such a radical government who are not listening to their, to their friends and to those who are establishing a political diplomat or a political relationship with them. The third message, uh, I believe it is for the American administration uh, where uh, they will send their foreign minister uh, Friday to the region and he will come to Amman tomorrow. Uh, telling them that we can't handle this job with such government unless we have to see a procedure in the ground. Professor, one of the main flashpoints of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And yeah. Jordan is the custodian of the holy sites uh, in uh, occupied East Jerusalem. Where does this leave the status quo once the war is over? Uh, to be honest, I think there is a lot of what it will be said about the relationship between the government of Jordan and Israel. And I think the Israeli will not hesitate actually to raid Al-Aqsa and to send a message for the Jordanian government that uh, we will not tolerate anymore uh, with uh, your uh, monitoring and observation and your involvement in Al-Aqsa Mosque. Uh, I think this is one of the consequences actually of the war that uh, Israel it will try to stop Jordan from doing their job and duties towards Al-Aqsa Mosque. And this is, it will be also one of the points that the clash, it will be go more and more between Jordan government and Israeli government. Professor Badr Al-Mahdi, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.